Hi everyone, welcome to ITPK. In today's video, we will learn the steps on how to configure Windows Defender Credential Guard using Account Protection Policy in Microsoft Intune. The Windows Defender Credential Guard is a feature that protects NDLM, Kerberos, and Sign On credentials. It uses virtualization based security to containerize LSA SS authentication process. It protects credentials from malicious tools which gain system context access. A well known tool to accomplish extraction of credentials in system context is Mimikatz. This will not work after enabling Windows Defender Credential Guard. The configuration of Credential Guard can be performed using different profiles. One being device configuration profile for endpoint protection and another one being account protection profile. Account protection policies help to protect user credential using Windows Hello for Business and Credentials Guard. It is the latest configuration option and most logical configuration option for security related configurations. This profile type is a part of account protection section in the endpoint security node and contain the required credential guards settings. First, please sign in to Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL in tune.microsoft.com and you must be a global administrator or in tune service administrator to configure device credential guards settings. Once you are logged in into Intune, please go to Endpoint Security. Under Endpoint Security, please find Account Protection. In the Account Protection, let's go to Create Policy to create a new policy. In the Platform, please select Windows and in the Profile, please select account protection and here we can see the details account protection policy help protect user credentials by using technologies such as windows hello for business and credential guard this policy applies to windows 10 and later the setting in this policy targeted to mdm supported devices let's click create now in the name section please give the meaningful name and the meaningful description so that if next time you will visit here and you will be able to understand it perfectly let's click next now the first option under device guard we have credential guard settings so let's click on the menu to see the drop down setting this to disable will disable the use of credential guard setting this to enable will enable the credential guard with uefi and will not allow to disable it remotely and the last option we have we could enable this setting without uefi lock and this could be then turned off without any uefi lock restrictions credential guard uses windows hypervisor to provide protection which requires secure boot and dma protection to function which also require hardware support. This setting will only successfully enable the hardware requirements are met. Here we will select enable with UEFI log just to make sure that credential guard enabled with an UEFI log and cannot be disabled remotely. Okay, the next option under Windows Hello for Business is facial features use enhanced anti-spoofing. This setting determines whether enhanced anti-spoofing is required for Windows Hello Face authentication. If you enable this setting, Windows requires all users on managed devices to use enhanced anti-spoofing for Windows Hello Face authentication. This disables Windows Hello Face authentication on devices that do not support enhanced anti-spoofing. If you disable or do not configure this setting 
Windows doesn't require and has anti spoofing for Windows Hello Face authentication. Note that enhanced anti spoofing for Windows Hello Face authentication is not required on unmanaged devices. So let's set it to true. Now the next option is device scope setting. The next setting we have here is device scope setting. If the user forget their pin, it can be changed to a new pin using the Windows Hello for Business pin recovery service. This cloud service encrypt a recovery secret which is stored on the device and the user will be able to change to new pin in case their pin is forgotten. If you disable or do not configure this policy setting, the pin recovery secret will not be created or stored. If the user's pin is forgotten, the only way to get the pin is deleting the existing and creating a new one which will require the user to re-register with any services the old pin provided access to. So let's enable this expiration. Let's enable expiration uh, of pin and let's configure the expiration of pin to 90 days. The next option we could configure here is pin history. This policy specifies the number of past pins that can be stored in the history that valid values are 0 to 50 inclusive. If this policy is set to 0, then the st storage of previous pin is not required. Pin history is not preserved to pin reset. So we can say not many, uh, we can say 7 pin history. You want to save the next option. Uh, you want lowercase letters, yes or no. We can set to allowed. You can set anything according to your requirement. And these are few requirements according to pin setup. Okay, let me define the length of the pin 127 character minimum. Uh, we can say six, at least six. Let's enable the special character as well. In setting up the pin, let's enable uppercase. The next option here we have require security device. A trusted platform module TPM provide additional security benefits our software because data stored within it cannot be used on other device. If you enable this policy setting, only devices with usable TPM provision window hello for business. If you disable or do not configure this policy setting, the TPM is still preferred, but all devices provisions window hello for business using software if the TPM is non-functional or unavailable. So in my case, let me set it to true. Use window hello for business device space. Right. I am I'm not uh, enabling uh, a use certificate for on-prem authentication. So the next option is use Windows Hello for Business device. Windows Hello for Business is an alternative method for signing in into Windows using your Active Directory or Azure Active Directory account that can replace the password smart cards and virtual smart cards. If you enable or do not configure these settings, the device provisions Windows Hello for Business for all users. If you disable this policy test setting, the device does not provision Windows Hello for any user so now uh, let's enable window hello for business as well the next main category we have here is users scope setting these settings are now for user scope and related to users and these settings are same as device scope setting and i'm not going to explain you all of the settings right because i explain on the device based also i am enable pin recovery enabling expiration uh let's say 90 days if you want to set only on device scope setting then you can leave user scope setting and we have only configured device scope settings here let's click next in the scope tags option i am leaving the default scope selected here right and i am going to click next in the assignment section we have to define here groups right so here uh, i have a group uh, that named corporate devices so i am selecting this group here now 
click next here you can review your policy settings basic settings scope tag assignment and all the configuration settings we have enabled here so you can review all of the settings and you can click on save that will save the policy and the policy will be appear here in the policy section under account protection so that's perfect we got the policy here the policy configuration settings for account protection has been created successfully and has assigned to the group that we have assigned earlier corporate devices now once the devices get sync with microsoft in june you will get all the statuses reports here right if you want an urgent result then make sure you have added only one device in the group and restarted that device twice on the computer there are many locations where you can verify the windows defender credential guard and one of them is to check the registry on your windows computer you can go to registry by typing here r e g d i t uh, that will open a registry key i have also gathered a screenshot for you here we have to go to computer h key local machine software got it policies microsoft windows slash device guard policy microsoft windows as this setting is not pushed on my computer that's why i didn't have device card option here i was just trying to explain you that how you would go to this path using windows registry key once you have configured uh, the device guard from in june you will be able to see uh, the device card in registry and in front of device card you will be able to see all of these registry keys however uh, at this moment we can see that lsa cfg flag key is configured as per our policy configuration right that means window defender credential guard is successfully enabled on this device right and once the devices get synced successfully you will see the succeeded value with an increment of one two three how many of devices are there and device guard will be enabled that's all about this simple video that how to configure windows defender credential guard using account protection policy in microsoft intune please note that my purpose of video is to give you the understanding of the topics and the demo for practicals these demo could be different from your requirement but the steps showing in this video and the direction provided in this video are only to help you with the configurations thank you everyone for watching this video have a nice day take care bye